Namaste friends I am Pratap Mehta I am a lifestyle engineer mind transformation coach professional speaker published author and above all Indian Navy veteran I help professionals and students with better interpersonal skills and improved health while freeing their time and involvement so that they can do what they love doing i took premature retirement from the indian navy after serving her for nearly a quarter century though i am a post graduate of nautical science and strategic studies i always had passion and penchant for energy healing that's meditation yoga spirituality and what not i am also a wellness coach so friends what i have written and practiced is a result of study personal experience and practicing ancient indian wisdom so i would like to yeah quote from napoleon hill once again there are no limitations to the mind except those we acknowledge both poverty and riches are the offspring of our thought so your life is a expression of your mind things like who you are going to be hanging around with socializing with things like how you are going to love your family your spouse your children how you are going to respect your partner your parents your co-workers your superiors your subordinates or will you elevate yourself with knowledge and best practices about yourself your life is expression of all that you can choose to be happy much of the time or not you can choose to create a life filled with melodrama or a life filled with peace and joy the choice is yours ladies and gentlemen the greatest discovery you will ever make is the potential of your mind do you take control of your life or do you let circumstances determine how life turns out for you we can help ourselves towards good health by choosing words and images that allow us to promote good health for example a patient going in for chemotherapy treatment may be thinking about the procedure with fright seeing it as a hurtful poison and thinking on possible unpleasant side effects conversely the patients may view it as a powerful tool that can help them to get well a healthier image yes within each one of us lives a physician also So at this point let me share another story from my life. Yes, it reminds me of my elder sister who would visit Mumbai for chemotherapy at Tata Memorial Hospital under Dr. Suresh Advani, a specially able wheelchair physician oncologist. Anyone heard about him? I think it was uh, 97 98 every person my sister met frightened her with most grave and ugly picture about chemotherapy right anyway my sister had full trust in me as she always came a day earlier from udaipur that's my native place now i have settled in i would reprogram her mind besides energy healing acupressure and other alternate wellness techniques to uplift her spirits dr advani a wheelchair celebrity physician oncologist once said captain your sister mrs jeevan prabha is an extraordinary patient 
she is courageous and highly positive lady. It meant a lot to me coming from a celebrity oncologist. I humbly acknowledged but didn't share with him that her mind has been programmed. It's a different story. She didn't live long, but she lived each day cheerfully upbeat. So friends, how do you reset your mind? We can reset our mind by using the techniques of meditation and creative visualization. We can learn to live by choice, not by chance. What questions come to your mind when you hear this? How do you reset your mind to get what you want? With this, friends, let me tell you how I'm going to structure this session. I'm going to describe the origin of meditation and the path, then we'll be open to questions then you will have short practice. I will guide you through practice initially. Then I shall also talk about how meditation can bring excellence in your life. That's the end. A few more questions. This will take about 45 to 50 minutes. This is a shlok from Bhagavad Gita, chapter 6, verse 6. The Bhagavad Gita tells us that the mind becomes the best friend of a person who is successful in controlling it. But for a person who has failed to do so, it becomes his greatest enemy. In fact, the mind is our only enemy. How beautiful. Have you heard about the potential of mind? Soon after hanging my boots from the Indian Navy, over a quarter centuries ago, my interest turned into a great passion. Meditation originates in South Asia, predominantly India, and has been practiced for thousands of years by sages. From Maharshi Patanjali to Lord Buddha and Lord Mahavira, in present time, it has gained a lot of popularity and there are several organizations across the globe that offer meditation classes. At this point, let me ask you, who discovered Atom? You will say John Dalton in 1800 reintroduced the concept of Atom. Sounds a vague question here, isn't it? But friends, hang on. Do you know that Indian sage Maharshi Patanjali introduced the idea of atom way back over 2,500 years ago? Patanjali's Yoga Sutra is a text on yoga, yoga therapy and practice. Before we deep dive into the importance and benefits of resetting our mind, let us learn about the origin and importance of meditation. This is from Patanjali's Yoga Sutra. Let me share a verse from Patanjali's Yoga Sutra. This shlok sums up the eternal secret behind achieving anything in life. Parmanu Paramga Mahotsya Anto Syavashi Kara Parmanu Paramatsyo Sya Vashi Kara. In English, it means the mastery over mind results in control of relationship with everything from atom to cosmos. That time he had already knew about the existence of atom and its relationship with cosmos. In Hindi, it means Chit ke shant hone par anu se lekar sampoon brahman taki samaj utpan hoti hai. He says the mastery over mind encompasses 
understanding of everything from atom to cosmos. Now, let's see. In the early uh, 20th century, when Vivekanand was in United States, you all know about it, he commented on Patanjali's Yoga Sutra, which we have just mentioned. He says, the yogi's mind, thus meditating, becomes unobstructed from the atomic to the infinite. The mind by this practice easily contemplates the most minute thing as well as the biggest thing, thus the mind waves become fainter. Dhyan ke samay ek yogi ka man parmanu se lekar brahman tak badha rehta hai aur is avastha mein yogi ke man ki samvednaay sukshma se sukshma hoti jati hai. Yoga Sutras are divided into four chapters. The third chapter that is called Vibhuti Pada. Pada means chapter. Primarily deals with various supernormal powers that can accrue to the practitioner when the mind is in extreme states of concentration. 2,500 years ago, he's talking about supernormal powers. That is at subconscious level, extreme concentration, subconscious level. So in Indian philosophy, the concept of both atom and supernormal powers have been associated with mind for centuries. Every cell of our body contains 100 billion atoms. And each atom is buzzing with the moment of electrons and subatomic particles. The point to be understood is that our body is not a fixed solid structure as we imagine it to be. If we drop this idea of continuously moving but solidly appearing body and universe for some time, but let's stay with it as a pure observer. When one observes this hectic activity, the flux, the movement of atoms, it becomes meditation. We have established relationship between body and mind now. So, having done that, the next point is, why master your mind? With this background of ancient Indian wisdom regarding relationship between body and mind, let me come to our subject, reset your mind. What questions come to your mind when you hear this? How do you train your mind to get what you A time comes in life of every men and women when they have tested every option in their life. Faiths, values, patience, perhaps black magic, jadu tona, but nothing seems to have worked. How is it that some people in this world live a life joy of peace, joy and peace, despite all adversities? While many live a life of despair, anger and depression, despite all comforts and resources. So let me share a few stories about these celebrities. Helen Keller was born blind, had little resources and she struggled back to life to perform wonders. How? Merlin Manro, next, you must have all heard about her had everything and fabulous success. She was one of the top superstar of Hollywood. But she ended up destroying herself. Why? And you have Amitabh Bachchan, another person. While shooting for Kuli, a movie, Kuli, was, he was seriously hurt. 
the meaning of his this accident could have been a reason for him to die to grieve or anything else he wanted to communicate but he chose to communicate to himself that this experience had occurred for a purpose as a result of this communication with himself he formed a set of beliefs and values that continues to direct his life from a sense of advantage rather than tragedy how yes what do we do when we have tried everything and things still turn out wrong for us people who succeed do not have fewer problems than those who fail you agree with me who are those people without problems any guess who are those people without problems any guess put it in the chat box right those in the cemetery <laughs> the difference is how we communicate with our mind and the actions we take that the techniques to reset your mind learn to reprogram your mind through mindfulness meditation so friends what is the process of resetting your mind by using the techniques of mindful meditation and creative visualization to be more successful in any endeavor you need to use the full range of your mind that is your mental faculties for creative and intuitive that intuitive is spontaneous responses intuitive skills by the way friends where is mind mind is like a software in your laptop whereas brain is a hardware motherboard caution this is contrary to western system in indian system mind is a software and brain is a hardware i mean a surgeon can cut open your skull and show you the brain but nobody can show you the mind therefore the mind is all over your body the working of brain depends on programming of the mind so i'll give you an example let's say a candle is burning you try and put a hand to your burning candle you immediately withdraw the software thus programmed tells you it is dangerous and the mind gives signal to the brain for hand to act so let's be clear mind is a software which is all over the body brain is in your skull which actually from performs on the directions of your mind so friends to keep your physical body fit we do regular exercises and eat nutritious food similarly to keep our software that is mind free of virus and malware we need to nourish it regularly by meditation the programming that is the resetting of the mind in subconscious state is also called alpha state is meditation is meditation so meditation is a skill repetition is the key to mastering the skill repetition is the key to mastering the skill the more we practice meditation the easier we understand how it works but if you don't feel anything 
why will you ever meditate instead of feeling of peace and harmony and stillness within us and the ability to keep our poise in the midst of hectic lifestyle meditation becomes what a dry exercise with no joy so experience of mindful meditation is a must we should also like to experience the benefits of meditation today we'll do that not a week later or a month later from now so we look forward to meditating regularly when we feel and experience the promise of meditation in this instant so looking at it what is the scientific approach to mind and meditation i know some of you are scientists or a science students or maybe even a questioning what is the scientific proof so i will talk about this as well in mindful meditation we go into our mind we meditate on the mind why the mind it is through the mind we feel things it is the mind that will make the rightful decisions it is through the mind we are inspired to act it is through mind that we interact with the world it is through the mind we remain creative with our ideas being rooted in a peaceful and meditative mind it increases our capacity to discern and make wise choices in our life it helps you make decisions so the unique feature of mindfulness meditation is observing sensations in your body for better self awareness again we can evaluate the effects of this self awareness with a scientific bent of mind take for example in the pharmaceutical industry the effectiveness of a active ingredient or active drug is measured against placebo our host tonight sheetal she is a pharmacist i'm sure she will vouch for this so this placebo contains actually contains no active ingredients or medicine and if the active drug perform significantly better than the placebo then this new drug is considered effective how oh, beautiful so let us join together and demystify the spiritual aspect of meditation we meditate and observe our experiences and draw our own conclusions based not on hearsay or faith or belief system but through actual experience arising out of practicing mindful meditation so let's do a practical exercise of resetting our mind so let's do a practice a very common problem we all grow through grief pain separation failure or any disappointment yes or no and yes what do people often tell us time heals all wounds yes or no but this is not true that the time heal all wounds time is something external to us our feelings are internal to us time can't enter into our mind and change our feelings only we can heal ourselves remember that not time take this moment to teach your mind to take a personal responsibility of healing emotional wounds and not waiting for time to heal repeat this affirmation every day to release all pain 
and discomfort you are holding on to you will learn to face an uncomfortable emotion and find a tool of knowledge to heal it immediately this makes you a resilient to external factors how would you like it if you can learn to heal yourself instantly like a instant coffee why we heal is because over a period of time we take knowledge reflect on what happened talk to other people understand life's ways become emotionally stronger and finally accept what happened so we empower our mind subconsciously with positive affirmations as the time passes that is the normal thing which is happening around us so choice of powerful word makes a good positive affirmations an affirmation is a statement that you make or affirm to yourself to help reinforce how you are or want to be remember please note this i hope you guys have got your pen and pad with you so affirmation yes, yes. is a statement you affirm to yourself to help reinforce how you are or want to be even if it's not true for you until now that is affirmation even if it's not true to for you until now so affirmations are useful to strengthen your useful beliefs affirmations are stated in positive so what you do what you want instead of what you don't want affirmations are especially effective when made in alpha level that is subconscious state that means in meditation affirmations are effective when made in meditative mindful meditation or subconscious level you must have seen very common in your group of friends or wherever you are going or sometimes within the family some people just make bold statement i am very positive i am going to be successful or someone asks you why you said i am not sad i am okay by emphasizing and saying it louder or with emphasis it doesn't become you don't become that according okay you don't become it is only a statement it's good to hear your people around you may applaud for your oh thinking that's it but it is not going to bring in a transformation or change so we are going to now begin as a practice a procedure system which will help you overcome grief disappointment failure separation i'm sure so pick one from your life maybe immediate past it will be nice if there has been a loss in the family you are sad about it you are disappointed because of your partner or your children or your somebody have failed or there is a separation or there is a breakup whatever it is you if you are about which you are sad disappointed and you remain so so pick one incident of the recent past maybe 6 months 1 year 6 days 6 weeks it's fine okay and keep it in your mind one instant right of grief separation disappointment sit comfortably in your chair sit straight but relaxed your back not stiff like a bamboo straight but 
you are relaxed remove your spectacles gently close your eyes listen to my instructions and follow them if you miss any it's all right keep your body steady still have a determination i am not going to move come what may now take three deep belly breaths inhale exhale inhale exhale when you inhale visualize stomach inflating when you exhale visualize stomach deflate bring your attention to your nostril observe the effortless natural breath going in coming out do not follow the breath inside your body do not follow the breath outside your nostril observe the breath as it is yes it may be long it may be short let it be so it may be cool it may be warm let it be so in out in your own time continue do not attach any sound or image to the natural breath continue to observe the breath as it is continue keep a smile on your face keep your body steady still repeat after me in your mind i am a powerful being i have a beautiful relationship with my mind i keep it happy and stable in every situation think of a situation of the past where you have suffered a grief separation or disappointment now think of a situation of the past where you have suffered a grief separation or disappointment i look at how i am feeling today if there is any pain of the past any loss failure or grief any loss failure grief any unfulfilled desire that i had experienced because of which my mind is not peaceful or happy i know some people have been unfair to me situations have been challenging but i do not wait for time to heal me of past hurt time cannot heal i choose to heal myself i decide to heal now with understanding no one can hurt me 
people will behave as per their perspective situations were as they are meant to be i created the hurt it was my past karmic account i had written that scene in my destiny when i did that karma it's over now i forgive myself for the hurt i created it's over it's over i am the master of my emotions i am a master who chooses always i choose who and what stays on my mind my every feeling in every situation i go beyond the hurt that i had created in the past from today it's the new karmic account of peace and happiness slowly visualize a golden light coming and engulfing you from head to toe that energetic light entering every part and organ of your body your energized body is sealed and full of energy you are you yourself you will gently open your eyes at the count of 3 1 2 feeling healthy and totally relaxed whatever i am doing is in the best interest of mankind you will open your eyes and if you wish to you may unmute and share your experience thank you so much for that captain sir uh, i was feeling very restless for some reason some discomfort in my body before we started the practice and as i was trying to refocus back to what you were saying and and learning but the practice itself i feel so much more settled there's a sense of spaciousness and i love what you said may what i do be in the benefit of human kind and i feel that uh, ability maybe in myself more with the practice thank you for that thank you so much for sharing this the techniques that we pre- practice here are to reset your mind and you can reset your mind only when you are in the mindful meditation alpha level keep your mind strong we need to nourish it with daily practice of meditation to begin with when will you have a trust in this system you will develop a trust when the transformation starts taking place in you. and the transformation doesn't take place overnight after one or two meditation practice sessions it takes consistent practice over four to six weeks and once you see the transformation then you will never stop you will never go back as food or lunch or breakfast is necessary as dinner is necessary for you to survive you will never say i have no time for meditation which is the easiest answer okay so we will continue just summed up what we have done so far why mindful meditation if you ask how was the meditation what was the experience the general and most common answer is i am totally relaxed and peaceful and in bliss that's what most of us most of you not all I have given this answer in the chat box. I am in totally harmony. I am refreshed. Yes, these are definitely the benefits of meditation. But remember, they are the byproducts of mindful meditation. Byproducts of mindful meditation. 
they are by by product of any meditation you do with anybody and any system the main purpose of mindful meditation is to reduce impurities in your mind there are innumerable thoughts keep coming to us 40 to 50 thousand thoughts per day and so many of them are negative it disturbs our mind and it causes suffering and suffering and misery within us right so i need to remove that impurity and and only when you start when your impurities have reduced your power of mind will go up it's like when you have removed the suddenly you say my computer has become very slow you call for that engineer or a software guy all that he does is removes all those temporary files virus malware this that he does the reformatting and your computer is running well again okay. same thing with the mind just imagine but it needs daily dose of meditation therefore to reduce agitation of mind and thus paving the way to learn to program your mind to accomplish your goals objectives you need to practice this consistently and congruently as you learn these practical techniques step by step exercises you will overcome insecurities and even physical illnesses by changing negative false feeling systems you will find that you are enjoying positive results in every aspect of your life as regular food and exercise is necessary to make your body strong so meditation being food for mind is necessary to enrich and nourish your mind 